Hey, good morning. Well, good evening, everybody. Just trying to figure out this live thing real quick. I'm just going to make this technical stuff, and we'll get this stream started in a minute. Hope everybody can join in where they can. I want to make sure we get everything perfect for you so we can just go ahead and let's paint together. All right. Let's go ahead and get this set here. And we are live. So awesome. So let's get this going here. Um, make sure we get this set. All right. Kind of new to this. Get this set up. I apologize. All right, I'm glad everybody's joining me here today. Um, hope everybody's had a great couple of weeks. I know it's just been really hectic for me. I know you get to see me on camera, which is really, really weird and kind of scary. Um, hope you can all hear me. Just give me one moment here. All right. And let's just pause this really quick. for you so we can just go ahead and let's paint together all right just making sure my sound is working everybody can hear me okay sorry I need to get a little better set up of course I have some new things showing up around here um, you know so I finally got me uh, some more equipment to use uh, makes everything a little more fun um, I do now have a cleaner for my paintbrush which this thing is great you know, it's got a holder here so I don't have to constantly put it down it's then I can just clean it out make sure everything's working great makes everything easier and also uh, just so I can actually have my paints mostly organized and we got another one of these cases I know it's for um, say it's for um, nail polish but you know what it works perfectly great let's go ahead and get this here and hope everybody can join me and see what's going on here okay and let me just go ahead and get this working here so I can actually see what we have going All right. and I want to thank everybody for joining in um, Hmm. Didn't mean to make this private. Give me a second here. Boom. Boom. Let's paint. Sorry about this. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get everything worked out. Um, Sorry about that, I was just getting everything reconfigured. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, let's just get this loaded here. I'm just trying to make sure everything's working. Uh, let's just get everything working here. All right, and all right, well, I hope everybody's in chat watching and see what we got here. Um, see what we got. Sorry about this, I'm just trying to get everything working properly. I know I'm still, it's been a really, really 
hectic week. Just, you know, making sure everything's working. I've been doing a lot of gardening, a lot of, you know, housework, getting things going. And that's always, you know, that's always fun, of course. All right. Let's see what we got here. Remember, please go ahead and like, subscribe, share all these videos. And today, uh, we're just going to do something really simple. I mean, this is mostly just, I'm just getting this, my, um, my live streaming set up a lot of times. It's just some content's going to get better and better. It's, this is kind of a learning process, but, you know, just want to make sure we, we're all on the same page and make sure everything's doing great. Now, what I'm going to do today is we're going to go ahead and paint up. Well, one of our little fun, fun little guys over here. When I get finished, so we're not doing anything super heavy today, is we have one of our Drukhari in honor of the new Drukhari Codex that I just got and that just was just released by Games Workshop. And we're going to work on one and we're going to get them set. Now, if you just notice here, we have our base Drakari. Um, pretty basic, simple. Um, there's a camera here. Still getting used to the camera setup. Apologize. This with the paints. Uh, the zoom is not the greatest quality on this. I do apologize. I want to get this improved, or we can just go on here. And we can see how she's looking here. Might go back to the YouTube or the Facebook Live. This camera setup just does not seem to huh, be the most productive. For this type of work, I'm uh, sorry about that. That is quite all right. Okay. A couple here we want to get finished. So, Ooh, got a little bit of dust on them for moving things around. Now, now with this, what I want to do mostly is just I want to kind of keep it these live these live. Sessions. I just want to kind of keep it a little more, kind of more formal. Just kind of paint, talk, just kind of, kind of just you know, enjoy it. Um, any comments, questions, anything? Just please let me know. I'm just using my airbrush a little bit just to kind of get some of the dust off from moving, getting stuff set up, some dust that kicked around in. Really don't want dust caked up on your miniatures. I can mess with your painting a bit. Now, this is one I started painting a while ago before I had my hand surgery. I noticed I got that okay, it's in the flesh. Got that done. I'm gonna get back to that one later though. Let's just look here. So just about you know painting, having fun, enjoying ourselves. Also, if you notice, I do have the airbrush out. Um, it's something simple, it's just a master airbrush. I just have, I have two of them. Really handy. Coming up great for batch, um, for batch painting. Uh, getting multiple uh, things primered up. I did, a, I did strip a bunch of older miniatures, um, and some of them they still had some of the white primer on it. It was really hard to get off without scrubbing, but. I was able to use the the Vallejo Black uh, surface primer, and with that, you gotta make sure you gotta keep your airbrush clean. You need to hire, you know, make sure your needle's not too small, make sure your aperture's not too small, and you know, make sure you just keep it going, keep it going, and make sure you clean it, get it all out, because um, it can gum up your airbrush. But everything up came up pretty well. Um, you really not notice any any of the smudges. That there used to be old paint on here. Just really, 
gray. Let me adjust my lighting here. That may help a lot. Let me adjust my camera here because it seems you're just seeing the top part of my head as opposed to, you know, my lovely, lovely face. All right. And what I plan to do is I'm going to make my, I want to make my Space Marines, I'm going to make them Dark Angels. Dark Angels is one of my favorites, the first Legion. Um, I was doing Imperial Fist for the longest time, but the yellows, uh, I'll get back to the yellows, but just to me, the Imperial Fist just plays just pretty boring, even though they're one of my favorite chapters. But I want to go ahead and just work on Dark Angels. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do some basic airbrushing technique today. We're just going to do some basic airbrush. So just basic coating. So it's really great if you want to do a batch build, if you want to just paint a bunch of them in a batch. It's really great. Um, all right, and anybody watching the stream, I mean, uh, I want to welcome you to the stream. Hope everybody's having a great, great evening. Getting used to the streaming software, getting used to everything here, so it's kind of uh, getting used to it. I'm going to have to work with cameras, get better set up. I have an extra laptop I'm probably going to use. I can move some stuff around. It's just, you know, it's kind of a learning process, but as I say, everything is. Everything just gets better and better over time. Um, honestly, I never thought I would be making a stream. So, first thing I want to do, though, is when I airbrush, and normally you can use any acrylic paints. Just you got to make you have to make sure they thin out. You thin them out properly for your airbrush. But for this right now, I'm using some Citadel uh, Air Caliban Green. This is going to be my ba main base coat. Now, what the great with this is you do not have to mix it. it. You can just pop it right in, and you are good to go. Now, don't want to use too much because you know don't want to waste paint. So we're just going to put a little bit in. I need to. Just a little, just a tiny bit in, just enough to get in there and just, you know, just get it in our airbrush. And of course, you always want to test it out. Test it out, make sure you have nice, you know, see how it has that spray. If it sprays too much, it's too much pressure or you're too close, but you want to just nice little. We just start getting a nice consistency. You can get it going. All right, let me zoom out a little bit here. All right, let's see if I can move my camera a bit more. Let's see if that helps with our angle here. Perfect. All right. So what we want to do in our mini is we're just going to go and there's a cord in the way. Let's just go ahead and just move that. Sorry about that. Um, and what we do with the airbrush, as I said, we just want to make sure we have nice, nice pattern. Not too heavy. I have mine set about, well, just under 30 PSI. Because you guys say you don't want to blow it crazy. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to start here in the line and I'm just going to lightly just go a nice even coat. Nice even coat. Because we'll always go back, even coats on there, okay? Now, it may be hard to see because this is a dark green on a black. Make sure you're coating it up. Make sure you get it in there. See a little bit on the base. That's okay because that is going to be covered up when we do our basing. Now, on some of these, you know, the weapons, you we don't want to really get too much on the weapons things like that. So we can just stop here and just get around there. But some of the stuff, a lot of the stuff we can't cover, we can 
remove the weapon, like his chain sword. It's of course gonna not gonna be the great. Get up in there, up under his arm. And you wanna get as much as you can on there. You get a little too thick in some spots, it's okay, just stop. And you know, kinda let it dry, go back, even it out. Even it out. Even it out, get it in there. And I say I'm working on a uh, Dark Angels kill team. When I want to set up a kill team for for my Dark Angels, uh, there's a local gaming store. This Saturdays is when they when they do this. They have kill teams, so I'm gonna go in there, check it out. You know, kind of get acquainted with everything again. Yeah, with the pandemic, it's been really hard to really. The last year, just get in touch with things. Plus, you know, old work schedule, life. You know, kind of, kind of gets, kind of gets it. You know, makes you stop at stuff. All right. So we noticed we got a nice, nice coat on him. Nice green coat. So let's go ahead and you want to let it dry a little bit. You don't want to start popping on. You know, when it's too wet. Um, because if it's too wet, then you're going to, you know, have some problems. So let's go ahead and get that up here. <coughs> Excuse me. We still have some enough paint in here, which is good. And I'm noticing some spots where we didn't get quite a well enough. So let's start drying spots. Just go ahead and just hit it. Remember, if you get some on, on some of the stuff that's not supposed to have the green, that's okay. Because we're going to go back and paint that. Okay. Now, what you're doing airbrushing, well, once we get past our initial base coat, we're gonna, we want to be able to focus and see where our sources of light are going to come from. Now, with our sources of light, what's going to be important, it, and that's going to be important we want, where we want our sources of light to come through, is because that is where our we're going to use our highlights. Um, we're gonna kind of use a lighter color to highlight, and usually it's gonna be like where the light hits. We're normally on a model where the where the light hits, so that's gonna be the tops. You know, it's gonna be like the tops of here. You know, where how it's gonna be. So on this figure, we do it here. We're gonna have it like at the top of his shoulders, top of his backpack, helmet. And maybe some bits on his leg where you know where the light would hit kind of on his knee pad maybe the back of the leg here and then you know this top of his arm now if you now another cool thing is with the airbrushes like if you're doing plasma you can also add some extra cool lighting effects if you're having plasma but I so said we're gonna go ahead and say there's some spots on them that we're gonna want to not have you know green but that's okay because we'll be able to paint over those Remember everything, everything is okay. You just want to make sure it's nice. Because what we want is we want our army to stand out. Have our little guys, you know, have our little guys stand out. And make sure everything is good. And you know, you want to be, you know, I'm going to say we're not looking for anything parade ready. Anything you know, to win any golden dragons or other contests. Now, what we want to do is just have it so it looks nice, looks good, so anybody can do this. I mean, I suggest you get an airbrush, just start picking it up, practicing with it. Because that's the biggest thing. Just start. Just start with your airbrush, have fun, learn a bit. And we're running out of paint, so that's okay. We're just going to go ahead and pop some more in here. Oops. That's the only bad thing I don't like with the Citadel paint pots is I wish they were dripper, drop, you know, droppers. Alright, 
and we are good. Just kind of remember, just kind of go. If you start seeing a kind of splatter or star, you may be too close or you have too much pressure on your trigger, so just kind of lightly, lightly sand it on there. It's looking a little too thick on the part, pull it back. Just pull it back a little bit. Like his arm here. And I say I could love the airbrush though because when you're painting, especially if you got an army or minis and you got a lot of color, or they're larger, it's really great just to, as I say, get some batch batch painting done so you can crank out multiples. Very quickly, you can paint up a whole squad. And you do a light coat, and this stuff dries pretty, pretty quickly uh, once it's on the money. And that's what's great with this batch. We're doing it as a batch because what we could do, we'll just have a couple, get it through, and then by the time you are done, by the time we are done, it, you know, the paint's out there. I mean, you're not wasting a lot of paint. Because that's one of the things I've been you know, painting with traditional books, especially base coating. Is sometimes, unless you're using a wet palette, you'll start running out of paint. Your stuff will start drying. You'll be kind of out of luck. All right, and here we got him. He's looking pretty good and green. Um, set a couple of spots. Let's, you know, we got last little bit of paint in here. Let's just blow out our last bit of green. So let's see how number one is doing. All right, nice. He's dry. He's got some good color to him. So I like the stand right here. I can just put my. <laughs> so I like the stand right here. I can just put it right here. I don't have to reach for it <clears throat> and lose it. All right. Let's just go ahead and take him down. Just make sure he's got a good coat, good color. And that's what we're looking for, just a nice, good, solid green coat. Now, okay, it's looking good. Now this guy has some, he's gonna have some edging. This guy has some edges like right here, up on the top, his head, backpack, shoulder plates on a bit of on his knee plate and on his back leg so what we're going to do is we want to go with a lighter color so what i usually do is i'll start with a caliban green then i'll go to a war boss green and then a mook green for my top highlight um, i'm using the citadel air still and what's great because i'm all i'm using the greens and i'm just going lighter and lighter i'm just kind of building up what i have um, I really don't have to clean my brush out. I really don't have to clean my airbrush out too much because the colors, I can have it mix and it'll actually kind of help bring it out. So I'm just put a little bit of that War Boss Green. So everybody likes a good War Boss. Let's go ahead and just pop in. Let's get some this color through. Yeah, this, is, this is where it's like high pressure. You know that's when you have too much pressure going on. Okay, there we have the lighter bits coming out. Let's just mix it up in the pot a little bit. Okay, right, now 
now it's starting to come out a bit lighter, which is good. We just want to kind of a gradient. So what we want to do is we want to get in here as light as possible, light as possible. We want to get up here in the top. Take some practice and a steady hand. Right here, right here. I want to get right here on the shoulder ridge. So we're just getting there. And you can start seeing it is coming out a little bit. It's coming up a bit. Which is what we want. Hey, welcome to the stream, Daniel. Always nice to see you, bro. Um, yeah, new setup. Just trying to get it better. I mean, right now, um, I'm still using my... Uh, phone essentially uh, for for my uh, second camera until I could get a better camera and you know just kind of kind of learning as I go on there uh, remember make sure everybody, you know like subscribe tell your friends tell your family we're all fun everybody loves to paint my daughter's begging me to start being my daughter's begging me to let her be in videos and eventually in the future because she enjoys painting but she likes to make all of her marines pink and I really don't feel like messing with Emperor's children right now. Alright, and so we want a little bit of light her on the ridge of the helmet and so we're going to do a little bit on the back of his leg here with a bow in the back. Coming out. There we go. And just very gradually, because this is all about gradual. It's all about just doing it gradual, doing it nice. We don't want to. Also the trick with you're dealing with greens, the lighter you get, remember you don't add white, you want to add yellow. Yellow brings up that brightness of your greens. Old, old, old trick I've learned back in the day. Alright, just want to get a little more on the top of his helmet because on the top, top edge of his helmet we're going to go and do a little... lighter. So now what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and clean this out a little bit. It's starting to get a little gummy. So I love this. There we go. It's 
pushing through. I'm gonna run a little bit of airbrush cleaner through here as well. Maybe. Yep. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run a little airbrush cleaner through here because it's getting a little getting a little gummy. Which happens. And luckily I got plenty of airbrush cleaner because I bought a big bottle of it from a local hobby store and then when I got my when I got my uh, cleaning set, which came in yesterday, I came with two more bottles. So I have this little tiny dropper bottle that's almost empty. Um, then I got this eight ounce bottle here. And then uh, my cleaning kit came with two more four ounce bottles. So basically I have 16 ounces of airbrush cleaner. Airbrush cleaner is very handy if you're gonna do any airbrushing. Make sure you have it. Make sure you have it. Make sure it's good. Well, Daniel, if your friends are lame and they don't like mini painting, well, you need new friends. That's where it is. You just have to get rid of your friends. It took me a bit of time to get everything set up today, though. I'm just like, oh, geez, uh, how am I doing this? What am I going to do? Um, it took a bit of time to, 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 you know, get this figured out and set up. As I said, it's been, it's been a kind of a hectic couple weeks. I know everybody's been asking me. It's like, hey, when do you make another video? What are you doing? What's going on? Did you just quit? No, it's just I've real life. And then, of course, the wife's had me. The wife had me, you know, doing a bunch of gardening work this weekend and had to put a new mailbox in, which was always, always fun doing new mail, getting a new mailbox. Um, I don't know if anybody has ever installed a new mailbox on their own, but yeah. Um, honestly, it's not that bad. The worst part is just digging the hole. And then, you know, you get the new one, you put in some quick crete, and then make sure it's level. And then once that's done, so came out pretty nice. I'm happy with it. So happy with that. Now make sure you have some good ventilation. I have a window cracker near me because this airbrush cleaner can you know, get you, get you a little, get you a little, you know, loopy, if you're not careful. Uh, so, please, please be careful. Um, just say no, all that fun stuff. All right. And I'm just cleaning that out. And some people I've talked to, they're not fans of having airbrush. It's like, oh, I gotta clean it, I gotta do this, I have to do this. But honestly, it, it's worth it in the long run just to make sure it's working. Just you get a better, you get your quality, your color, high quality is so so nice. Um, I'm a huge fan of it. All right, so now what we want to do, our next color is we are actually going to do a little bit more of the War Boss green. Uh, because the war brush green we had before was a little bit still mixed with the Caliban green. So I'll do a little bit of the war boss green in here. It's going to give us a little bit of a lighter. A little bit of a lighter tone. Let's make sure all the. Oh, yeah, here we go. Got to always make sure, always test, always test your. Always test your always test your colors out. Um, I actually have plastic spoons that I'll use just to kind of go through and be like, hey, let's try to play it on here. Now what we want to do 
is get the last bit of this green out of here. Let's get the last bit of that green out of here. Now I'm going to go to our last green, our more bright green, our moot green. Um, our int moot. And I like the, the set of little color names because a lot of times they just they come from all over. So you'll have some old fantasy terms, some Age of Sigmar names, and then you'll get the start of like Lord of the Rings. Just always, always great. Yeah. And let's get some of that moot green in here. I did a little too much, that's okay. I still got a whole lot and <clears throat> Alright, and that's a nice, nice light green. Brush and, brush. and I'm still and I'm not perfect with airbrush, I'm still learning. Um, but it's coming up nice. So now what we want to do, we want to get pretty close, really close. And I want to get these edging. So very light, you know, just on the tip hot. Just on the small spots. You're not gonna see, you know. But the light's gonna be like on it. So you wanna do as much, you wanna kind of bring it in, kind of make it a gradient. This part kind of makes me nervous. We're up here. There we go. See, nice sharp. You can see it up here, but it's a nice sharp line on the helmet. Let's bring it in close. Control where it goes. Ease back on the throttle. Ease back on the clutch a little bit. Get some nice little edge highlights if you're very careful enough. Just paint your little men's and it's like, you know. And when you're doing the highlight, if you mess up just a little bit, it's okay because you can still get your normal color, your basic color, and kind of go in there, add it on there. There we go. A little bit of a highlight to this right here. Ooh, 
the second one. Take that away from me a little bit. That's okay. Always be fixed. You can always be fixed. I always like to have a brush with me too. Just kind of fix it over. That's no big deal. It happens. Just kind of fix, you know. Put it on there, fix it up. <laughs> and we'll just let that dry. We'll let him do his thing. A little Space Marines man. All right. So we go in here. I know this is not a very long stream. As I say, I just want to make sure, you know, everything's working, you know, kind of get get this all out there. Make sure, you know, we're all on the same page. And as I say, that's the biggest thing for, for us right now. I just want to make sure I could do this regularly for you all and actually have the best quality. And actually have the best quality for you that I have. Um, we want to make sure that we can paint together and make sure, you know, this is I just want to make sure we can all paint together and regularly and we can all just have fun. to cover up too well. Oops. Made too much of a little blob on my dry palette right here. <laughs> so I need to use a wet palette more, but it's okay. I want to fix this little spot where we had that little we had our little oopsie. This and the freaking everybody in the house doing my Gollum voice, but yes, we just did have some little oopsies today. Yes, precious, we had some oopsies. That's okay, sir. Yeah, I know that's pretty, um, pretty creepy. <laughs> uh, that's there, probably scared off whoever was watching the video. All right. Now this next step I want to do, next step that I'd like to do though, after I do the airbrush and the base is um, what we're going to do next, um, once everything dries, is I want to get, of course I want to do a wash, probably a known oil, get the, you know, the details in here, but I'm also going to have to go, I'm going to go with a lighter here because I want to bone, because on the Dark Angels, their, their quilla or their wings of their chest are, yeah, I'm going to have, a, it's going to be a bone type color, a bone color, so I'm going to do a lighter, like a white, and just kind of layer it in manually. Uh, his bolt pistol, I'm going to do a red, and same with his chain sword. Of course, his eyes are going to be red, and then he has other his other thing, you know, pouches, grenades, when I, his purity seals, of course, and then on Dark Angel on their shoulder, on their knee pad, the right knee pad is usually their squad barking, so we're going to go in that, just whatever squads we make these guys. Of course, we're going to black trim the shoulders, and eventually in the future we're going to go and we're going to learn how to do decals, and we're going to place the decal on there and get him based. Um, so I just want to get all my little guys going, but I'd uh, say today I just want to make sure we get everything just basic, basic start with him using our airbrush just to show out quick and easy we can go ahead and just get them based up and pretty much almost tabletop ready out the get-go um, you know playing a local game but just give you something to play with don't you know you don't want to have your standard uh, you know 
gray marines. Uh, <laughs> you can tell they start popping out a lot better, you know, just before color, after color, and you can start seeing really their, your guides are coming to life. Uh, excellent, excellent. You see, I have one, a couple more here that we have done with the same technique we have done today. Just getting the bases on there. We want to just make sure everything is set for us. And right, and I just want to thank everybody for joining me today. And I'm um, gonna say I'm gonna try to be, I'm gonna make these videos regularly. I want to do at least two to three a week. Um, you know, just want to make more because I just want to make great content for everybody because this is fun and I think everybody should start painting and enjoy themselves painting. And I'll say I will see you next time, friends, and um, keep painting, everybody.